This video will cover the topic sine fraction multiplication. Basic. To multiply two fractions, we first multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, decide if the final answer should be positive or negative, and finally simplify. Recall that the top of a fraction is called the numerator and the bottom is called the denominator. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators together to get the numerator of our answer, and we multiply the denominators together to get the denominator of our answer. For example, 3 fourths times 3 fifths equals 3 times 3 over 4 times 5, which results in an answer of 9 over 20. What if one of the fractions is negative? The rules for multiplying two fractions are the same as the rules for multiplying two integers. If both of the fractions are positive, or if both of the fractions are negative, then the answer is positive. However, if only one of the numbers is negative, then the answer is negative. For example, if we multiply negative one-half times three-fourths, the answer will be negative because only one of the numbers being multiplied is negative. This results in negative three-eighths. What happens if both fractions are negative? If we take negative one-fourth times negative two-fifths, the answer will be positive because both fractions are negative, and two negative numbers multiplied together equals a positive number. So therefore our answer is 2 over 20. Okay, but we can simplify that answer by reducing the fraction, right? That's correct. The last thing we always need to check is if our answer is in simplest terms. In this last example, our answer of 2 twentieths can be simplified because 2 and 20 share a common factor of 2. Since both of them can be divided by 2, we simplify by dividing both top and bottom by 2 to result in a final answer of 1 tenth. So to multiply two fractions, we first multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators, then decide if the final answer should be positive or negative, and finally simplify. That's right. 